This is Nexus Edge. Now your hosts, Jinxie Cat and Dax. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Nexus Edge, a show that helps you get an edge over your competition. I'm Jinxie Cat, and with me is my lovely host, until he gets yeeted off a cliff. Dax, how are you doing? I am doing well. I thought last week was uh, the yeeting. I thought it was going to happen last week, but uh, here I am. I'm here back again, still yeet free since September 3. I am doing well. How are you doing today? I am doing great. Thanks for asking. Still a little raspy from casting this weekend, but you know, like you never get too much casting in. So, uh, very excited to get started and be back here. Like, it's one of the things that I look forward to in the week now. Like, yay, we get to play Nexus Edge and just talk about NGS because it's really fun. Uh, but I think we have a Storm Vision match of the week, if I'm not correct. Yeah, we do. And you know what? Just coming in here uh, every single week and just looking at these, you know, these pickums, these stunks, you know, just helps keep us on our toes with seeing what's going around the NGS, uh, as well as just being to see which games I can and cannot uh, go into because I don't need to be uh, hollered at for whether I picked somebody or not. It's all in fun. I don't hate anybody. I don't hate any teams, uh, but I will pick you to lose every week. And <laughs> if you want to fight me, we can meet at the local Denny's. So, uh, yeah, before anybody gets too serious about fighting Dax at Denny's, why don't we take a look at Keem's store division hot map of the week. This is week three. It features two teams who are one and one, Regen and Seton. Now, if you've been following along with the stocks, you know that Seton's having a little bit of a rough start out here, and Regen's been kind of fluctuating a little bit. <sighs> Yeah, absolutely. Sorry about that. So yeah, it looks like uh, my favorite stat here is the highest average death in Storm uh, Division here at 14.8. So I'm curious if that coincides with a Leoric player getting that trait value. Um, maybe some Tyrael. I'm not sure. But that's kind of my favorite stat is how many times I can die in a particular game. Um, you know, whether they have an Anduin, got those Yeats of Faiths coming out there to kind of save somebody from uh, some positioning. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, that's kind of my main stat to see that we're going on here. So uh, the big guys to look at are the other Koreans who they were they were looking a little shaky there in the beginning, but now they're kind of pulling it back. They had a uh, a phenomenal win the other day over Seton going three one. Uh, Regen is I I'm just looking at these stats here. They're sitting at twelve point four deaths per game. That's pretty insane for Storm Division. You know, sometimes they end these games and the deaths are like four to like like four to five or like you know maybe it's super one-sided it's still like 12 to you know to three so i have 12 average deaths a week yikes regen um now is that per i guess that's per game right not per series because i'm like these are best of five matches i guess per se like if that's in that tally or not i'm not, I'm not yeah, quite sure but yeah per, game, yeah per game that's you know at least two two per like two and a half deaths, roughly, give or take decimal points. I don't know, like, you know, per, uh, well, per player. If you average 12 series, I like to imagine that that would be between like, like one through four, like one through five, right? But if it's per game, uh, it might be a little bit of theater. We're just going to come in here and be like, shut your mouth, Jinxie. <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't say that. Porky carried me to my 50 wins last season so I could get the... Uh, um, the Tiger King mount? Yeah, yeah. So I can be like... I like to play, play the, uh, the the Lucha Libre Imperius on the Tiger because I feel like mm -hmm. really fly, like running in, just like, <laughs> you wish you looked this good. Uh, but they're much better than us. So that's why we talk trash because we don't have to play these games. We just get to judge them for them. Absolutely. You know, talk about what, you know, I am trash. So I get to talk about trash and that's the way I see it. But one of my favorite skins with the tiger King mount is the blonde gray main, uh, cop skin. Uh, and I like to RP that I am uh, Joe exotic and I am the tiger King when I go into <laughs> battle with that, uh, set up there. <laughs> Um, 
Yeah, that's pretty. I you love the mount, but uh, anyways, we'll have to see. The prediction for key here is that Regen is going to take the three, but not without a fight. He's predicting three, two, five game series. So key hedging there, his man. prediction. Name a more iconic duo. <laughs> It's been pretty good so far. I think last week he got the the Seton game, if I remember correctly, or whoever we were we were doing. It was close. I remember I was like, oh wow, he did pretty good at that. I'm pretty sure though, all his predictions are always. I think it's gonna be three two, two one, three two, <laughs> two to one. He's gonna be really close. See, he's smart. People don't at key in chats anywhere. About, I just want uh, key to you do know, one a week. It. He's like, this is my match of the week, and it's gonna be a raffle stomp. Three nuts. It's gonna be a Get stomp. Wrecked. I like it's it. hard though because I mean, like, like, uh, it was Team Alexander versus Seapog X this week, and they went two th or three two, or two three, I guess, depending. Because yeah, it was Seapog X versus Alexander. Alexander won, but you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just it's just awesome to see like these teams made. You know, Regen came out maybe a little bit slow, but they're kind of seeing a resurgence here, and you know maybe they play the tougher teams better than they would you know the other teams and just how they match up. You know, whether it's team comp style, drafting style, or, uh, or whatever. Or your enemy is so bad you lose. Mm hmm <laughs> You just completely just don't even give them a chance. And next thing you know, you get stomped game one, and then you're just tilted. Well, I mean, there, there's always a thing that the uh, amateur is more deadly than the pro because you don't know what an amateur is going to do. The amount of times I've been like, huh, at like a triple bruiser murky comp, and then we lose. And I'm like, wait, what happened? Mm-hmm. They yeah, the best. The game right. <laughs> just dodge a skill shot. Dodge a skill shot by standing still. Forehead, right? Like you just line it up. They're walking in a trajectory, and uh, you shoot a skill shot, and they just decide to stand still, and you completely whiff. Oh, that's the worst feeling. Uh, I think we've touched enough on that, though. The prediction from Key is Regen will win over the other Koreans. I'm going to go against Key this week and say I think the other Koreans are going to pull it out because they had a really stupendous showing on Tuesday. And I'm also a little bit biased because I casted that game and I thought it was really good. So that is my argument for that. Hmm. I think I want to stay with the home team here. I'm going to, I think Regen's going to ride that hot streak here. Uh, I think they're warming up. They're getting comfortable, I think, with uh, where they're at here. And I think they are going to, uh, actually, I think they're going to, they're not going to go 3 2. I'm going to predict the the uh, four the 4 1 here. The best okay. Of. Really? You yeah, think they're going to play well, four, four wins? I guess three, I guess, if it's the best yeah. of five, right? They're not going to go, go. They're not going to go two there. You got that. math. Four wins. <laughs> they have to do it again. He's the math guy. He didn't have it on here for me. <laughs> Counting to five is hard. Four uh, wins five, right? My head. <laughs> no. Right, Lighthouse. <laughs> Anyone got some ibuprofen? Now that, you know, we, we've given our producer a solid migraine with our incompetence, uh, moving on to our stonks. So I had a little bit of a panic here today because uh, Rhea Kai and Key don't like to have fun. So I had to completely redo the stonks for the third time this week. But it, it's simple. It's just based on stock prices. So if you guys take a look here, you can see this, how, how the game teams are shaping up. It looks like as of right now, uh, Chili Mountain and St. John, they're having a really rough time early on. But, you know, like Chili Mountain, they had to face VGM. The other Koreans had to take on some tough teams as well. And so they're struggling. Seton playing some uh, rough teams. Alexander and Exodia are looking absolutely spectacular. Team Alexander, you know, everyone kind of assumed just because, you know, that's the old X HGC Korean team. Easy peasy. That wasn't the case versus CPOG this week. So as you can see, see, well, I lost a little bit, but they managed to take two games off, like I said, giving them a slower descent into the bottom there. Um, other than that, what are we looking at? If you bring us over to our standings, I made the most this season, or this, this week, with a galaxy brain play of losing week one. So I had the highest growth. Anyways, uh, yeah, like I said, Rio broke the system, so I had to redo it. Dax and Key is still positive, so, like, great job, guys. I'm the only one who's been negative so far. Um, Tetra is still in first place based on the fact that they picked 
Alexander, basically that's it. And then VGM at the start and didn't sell anything this week and is completely devaluing my efforts in making the game and the efforts of everybody trying to make smart and crafty trades by just sticking with who we think is going to be the number one. So, you know, like that's cool. Good for you. You know, not taking any risks. Right. It's I, like going back in time and just put, you know, if you could just putting stuff in, you know, Google and Apple and Microsoft and like it's, you know, yeah, you can do it and you'll yeah. be better off, well off. But, you know, it's, you know, where's I, the fun in that? I feel like the rest of us are like, like if you did go back in time, like you're saying, we're putting stocks in like Blockbuster because we know it's going to do well and we think we're smart enough to like get out before it collapses. And he's just like, nah, Mac. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm staying here. He is claiming he's going to sell some in chat. I see that now. <laughs> and by the way, I'm the only one who's allowed to make fun of him like this. Like, if you start being mean to Tetra, I'll fight you in Denny's next to Dax, whoever's fighting, like, the Pickums. So, like, just just because just I bully him doesn't mean that you can. <laughs> to be fair, I plan on bullying everyone. So I don't know if that if that makes any difference. I, I mean... <laughs> But namely Dax, because like Dax keeps saying like stupid, that. stupid stuff like four to one. Oh, yeah, <laughs> all that aura chat we got. Yeah. <laughs> all righty, so that's all we have for stonks this week. Rio and Tetcher, uh pulling ahead there. Jinxie back into it. Dax and Key staying strong in the middle. Now, my dear, I believe you have some pickums. We're gonna pick some teams. We are. All right. So real quick. Winning so far this season, we have a three-way tie for between Jinxie, Key, and Ryokai. Um, Dax and Tetcher are four and six. Somehow, all of you have like literally two records. Out of, like you're picking five matches a week, and everyone is somehow basically the same. So we're gonna do heroic division Bs and Ds this week. Uh, B East, all was it like two or three of them were considered i forget how many. Oh, it's just yeah the northeast southeast right are both in that pool so all the heroic. airlines <laughs> for heroic we have archon versus brawl is life uh for your picks this week uh jinxie let's we'll start with you which do you think will emerge victorious I'm going to give it to Brawl is life because they were so close to making it to storm division i think they're going to clap What about you, Dex? Hmm. Take a look here. I'm going to go with Archon. Uh, I'm just trying to peek and see who is on this team here. I think they're a team, a team that's been around for a while. I think I've heard them. Um, recognize some names on there. But, uh, yeah, I apologize for any teams that I do pick. Apparently, I do seem to be the kiss of death with my record uh, proving that 100%. Is but it that? I will go with Archon. You're like one off from fifty percent. That that's true. That's true. Gonna go against Rio and that big daddy Phoenix. I see how you are. Rio's no. not on Brawl's life anymore. Oh, I'm lucky. Yeah, he Aha, be... you oh. can't change it. <laughs> wow. All right, B East Lubu versus Deckard's Erudition. Who picked these? Oh, that's right. It was me. You think I would? Uh... Learn how to say his teen names beforehand. <laughs> we'll start with Dax on this one. Uh, I'm going to go with Lubu here. Uh, again, having that continuity uh, seasons in, maybe a couple different people here, there getting rotated in, but I think they probably have that synergy down pack. So I'm just going to go with Lubu here to uh, to take this one. Uh, I think I'm also going to give it to Lubu this week for the exact same reason. I don't know a whole lot about the Deckard squad, so maybe they're super amazing, but I have seen Lubu play. I think they're pretty good, and as such, they have my vote. All right, all right. Uh, next up is B-West, Lurk Patrol versus Spooky Ghosts. We'll start with uh, Jinxie on this one. Ooh... I'm going to give it to the Ghost. The Ghost tried out for Storm Division as well. I mean, that's what I based a lot of this off of. But I think they probably learned some valuable lessons, getting absolutely clapped by Grandmasters. They're going to use that in, and they are going to come out on top. All right, and I'm going to go with Lurk Patrol, sitting at the top of B West at the moment. I think this week they will continue uh, their reign. I don't think it's going to be a domination, so I think the division is going to get a little bit closer. But I definitely uh, throw my hat in the ring for Lurk Patrol. 
Hold up, Dax. Do you actually have the NGS website up with the with the standings looking at making your picks for these? Because I'm pretty sure Jinxie is just freeballing this completely and just making picks off based on the team names. <laughs> that sounds like no, cheating. <laughs> I'm very scientific in this. There are two O's in Spooky. And, you know, based off of that, with the moon being in cancer right now, a crab having two claws means victory. It's very scientific. Mm. Mm. Let me get my abacus out here. I will. I, I, will I don't even know out. if the moon is in cancer right now. What are we in? I don't it's know. September. I, don't know. Da- I see Dax has selected a cell on this, too. So that's good for everyone. It might be Scorpio. Dax. I don't know. Dax. I got it. There we go. Yeah, two O's <laughs> means they were two zero. Uh, <laughs> I'm galaxy braining this. All right. It sounded good to me. It sounded good to me. DE's Council of Mages versus Rise and Grind. I actually like both of those names, by the way. I really hope Council of Mages like runs five mage comps or something stupid like that, just for fun. My, I could see it working too. <laughs> Uh, 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 Dax, I, I think I'm. Yeah, I'm up. I will go Council of Mages. Um, we did scrim though. Uh, them they are they did well in Heroes Lounge. They came over, took a few seasons off of uh, NGS, but we did scrim them in the preseason. Very good team. Uh, not too not too familiar with Rise and Grind. I know it's a team name that I do know, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna go with Council of Mages on that one. Who are you, Jinxie? Ah. Oh. I really wish I knew more about these guys and I wasn't just going off of their names. Mm -hmm. I really need to look into some more NGS, do some more. Uh, I play a mage in WoW. I know it's the most toxic thing to try and lock down in arenas. So I'm going to vote Council of Mages. That's fair. That's completely fair. It'd probably help for both of you to research these teams a bit more if I didn't pick them like five minutes before the show started. Uh, (laughs) D, that's half the fun. You have to know how to look up it. Uh, D West. I really like that Dax keeps clicking on the boxes and then everyone can see his actual name. That's good times. I'm, I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it. It's fine. <laughs> D West. We got cool cats and kittens versus we're scaling. And I am in no way, by the way, picking these on team names I just like. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> uh, so this final one goes to Jinxie first. Okay, so I actually do know Cool Cats and Kittens. I've seen them play a couple of times before, and they are a long-standing team. Not 100 percent sure about the other ones, but I, I think I, I think by by you know process of catitude, I, I have to vote for Cool Cats and Kittens. I will mimic that one there. I did cast a uh, worst scaling game last week. They played really well, um, but with the continuity of Cool Cats and Kittens being around for a while, I think they will continue uh, their winning streak. Cool, cool. All right. And then hopefully we get uh, Key, Rio, and Tetcher to submit their picks in the Edge Discord, and we can see how everyone's doing for next week. That's such a dumb joke. Everybody shamed Thatcher for his pun. Boo! Boo! What's the joke? I have it. I had that uh, close right now. He says, cool cats and kittens because it's still early in the game for we're scaling. They will win late season. And that's awful. (sighs) That hurts my heart. All right. I appreciate Uh, you showing up though, baby. Thanks for watching my show. Yeah, there you go. That'll win him over. (laughs) (laughs) all right uh so with that we're actually going to do one of our new segments and that is i should probably hit the button there it is guess the victor now this was uh actually dax do you want to introduce one because this one because this was uh one of the ones you discovered for us to, to do Sure, absolutely. So this is just a fun little game that is over on hot logs. Uh, if you're not familiar with what hot logs is, it is just another um I guess match gathering stats building website. Um uh, actually I think owned and hosted by at least the guys over at Into the Nexus podcast. Um but it's just a fun little game from replays that they get. They kind of show you um the general MMR of both teams and the team build outs and the team comps on the map and then you kind of pick uh, and guess the victor who do you think wins wins the match here and then you can kind of collectively go until you're wrong uh, and then um, and then there's actually like a ranking system uh, throughout the week but yeah just anybody can go on and then I off the top of my head I'm not sure the 
directory yeah. of it, but it, it is up there. So, yeah. so here's how this thing works. It says, try to guess which team won based on their drafts alone, and that you get, well, you'll see the screen in a second. It's like you get the MMR and everything. Um, there are, these are real Storm League games played within the last few days. We hit, There's a scoring system. I guess we could keep track of that if we want. The main thing is, if you have guessed three correct in a row, answer another correct will add 40 points. So I guess you get 10 points for each correct guess. If you get a streak, you get 40 points additional. Game over if you answer two in a row incorrectly. So we're going to play into the two of you, and you're going to play together. So you have to come okay. to a consensus. So we're on a team. Okay. Right. Uh, so until you, you, you both get two wrong, and we'll see what your score is for the week. Okay. Okay. All right, let's hit the start. So, let's go. Tow- Towers of Doom. Oh, wait. Why does it have a streak on here? I was messing with this earlier, so maybe it's showing my old one. No, I-, <laughs> I was literally just clicking the top box. So, let's just click. Oh, my goodness. Stop getting them right. This is the worst thing ever. There we go. There we go. All right, we cleared it. Easy peasy. No worries. That was totally professional. All right, we have Alteric Pass now. Um, oh no! Top MMR nineteen eighty. We have average hero level of eighteen point eight. The bottom team's MMR is seventeen sixty with an average hero level of fourteen point two. Team one had had Imperius, Li Ming, Arthas. That's your boy, isn't it? Hanzo and yeah. White Mame. Team two has Lenara, Deckard, Jaina, Varian, and uh, the Queen herself now, Diva. Who won this match? Okay. And I believe, and I believe these are within the last two patches, so that should be reworked, Dave. I believe. It, yes, this this did say within the last two days. On the okay, yep. Okay, so now I know. I think Diamond is like twenty three hundred or twenty one is platinum. So these are probably gold, silver league games. I mean, there's a wide MMR range too. Like if you see the Li Ming here, is twenty six hundred MMR. Yeah. That's like by far the highest in the game. This is like when <sighs> me and my friends queue up and they carry my ass. Um, but these are also Hot Slogs MMR, which aren't. That's not, true. That they're rankings, yeah. yeah, which don't really coalesce with. Uh, I think the bottom team won. I don't know. The white man is so good against blow up. Mm. Yeah, it, 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 I don't know because it can be taunt, and it's you know it's going to be a taunt varying with a Jaina and a Deckard, and just Lunara just doing Lunara things, jumping on the back line. Uh, this is. I, I'm I'm going to say the bottom team won. That's my guess. Oh yeah, I'm trying to look at builds here quick. This diva did go bunny hop and not the really awesome new micro missiles, which is the better role in my opinion. That's that's. But fair. in these tight choke points, if she took, did it get did they get to level twenty? They did not. Okay, so I'm actually going to go. Uh, I don't know. It's okay. I think wait, the average wait, hero level yeah. on there. Did you look this up to see if they made it to what the? No, yeah. no. Here, so hero level is, I, I believe, is just the the average hero level of like their the skill, characters. like how many like oh, level the characters, yes, the characters pick. Not, yeah, yeah, yeah. of the match. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, I'll go with Jinxie here. I think the bottom team. I think the bottom team had just a little bit better of a pick a pick opportunity. All right, let's find out. You are wrong. Probably, Top I'm team always... one. Damn, I know, I'm always wrong with these. Like every single uh, time. Arthas and Stab Daddy on the same team, and we you, couldn't. You had like, a chance to pick Arthas. I, I play Arthas. That's why I thought he would lose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like you know, like it's it's harder because they don't have like because he has to step up on people. The, the Lucio's not there, so like it, that's the fun part. Like, is he like you know you don't know if one of these per- persons like one of these people is a Smurf or are they like truly hard carrying. Uh, but let's see this here. Yeah, <laughs> I okay, love what, 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 chat. The chat is totally roasting the two of you for not picking the Arthas team. I love it. <laughs> Fair. Fair. I mean, it's because it's me. Uh, like. <laughs> All right. Let's do the next match. So you gotta get this one right, right. or this game is really short this week. <laughs> okay. All right. Top team, Alteric Pass again. We have Ugh. average MMR eighteen eighty. Oh. Hero average hero level eleven point eight. Kira, Uther, Mirrodin, Varian, and Orphea was the top team. Bottom team, uh, team two, MMR, uh, sixteen forty. Average hero level fourteen point six. They have Brightwing, Arthas, Alarak, Imperius, and Tracer. Oh, do we go for the Arthas again? Uh, God, oh. I re- please God, let them pick the Arthas game this time, and it be wrong. 
Uh, so I, mean, I, I don't know. I, I, just... I really feel like, like, honestly, like you could show me this game of the Brightwing, Arthas, Alarak, Imperius, Tracer, and that's like a goose draft. Like we would mm-hmm. draft that. The only thing I'm concerned about here is Alarak, Imperius, like they don't mesh well together. Alarak pulls them in, Imperius goes forward, and then like you miss your shit. I mean, so, Tetra I, is I, bringing I, up good points in the chat. It is Arthas with Brightwing Tracer. Yeah, that's why I think I don't know. Could they carry the fact that Imperius? I mean, maybe if like it was a five stack and the Arthas and the or the Alarak and the Imperius were like chatting to each other. I don't know. I just think uh, both both healers aren't that great. Now Uther did go W build, which is did get the buff less man taxing. Did you what? say Brightwing's not that great of a healer? With that damage on that team? Uh, I don't think so. Can I mute? Hold on a second. Can I mute uh, <laughs> Dax real quick? Yeah. All right. Before I... <laughs> all right. All right. So Dax is muted right now because that's so that's completely unacceptable. <laughs> all right. Anyway, you can go on again. Dax is top. I really, I think it's the bottom, but I feel like because I think it in my heart, it's the bottom that it's probably wrong. So if you believe the top team, Dax, then I'll go top team. With I, I, I no, unmuted Dax so you can talk again. <laughs> All right, I was gonna say, you know, we picked against Arthas last time. Your heart says Arthas. I, I will go. I will go with the chat. I will go with you. Let's go bottom. That's what we're going with. Okay. All right. All right. Oh, you're out. Oh, and two. Damn. <laughs> wow. I knew. I know to pick against my heart. I make terrible decisions. <laughs> I'm a full-time streamer. Like, who would decide to do that? What a okay. stupid decision. <laughs> In this okay. economy. So how many people got in chat today? Because th- th- these these two have clearly have no idea how to pick matches. We got a good amount. Let's see. Ah, shut up, Tetcher! This also may have gone anybody. pretty fast. So let's do this in chat. We'll do we'll do another round. <laughs> chat will participate. Okay. One, okay. one in chat for the top team. Two in chat for the bottom team. And like you two it. can also participate, but you clearly your opinions are pretty bad. So we're bad. We can, at the, we're bad at this. Uh, there's an so, Arthas. There's also a Nova on the team. There's a cursed Hollow. <laughs> we well, won with Arthas. Nova. Wait, we won with Nova last night. Like, what are you talking about? Nova's we easy. We won, and Nova was on the team. Like, uh, yeah, I mean, we're, yeah, I mean, that's fair. Uh, but this also has a diva, so that's why they won. He's, and it went micro missiles. Okay, so anyway, cursed hollow MMR sixteen hundred, hero level eleven point four. They have Karazim, Diva, Kalthos, Arthas, and Nova. Second team MMR twenty sixty, hero level ten point eight. They have Abathur, Mirrodin, Asmodan, Greymane, Lily. I'm just gonna say, based on the MMR and based on how toxic that bottom team's comp is, I would be picking number two. Personally, I that's my vote number two. Same, yeah, I would go with the bottom for sure. Does chat have an opinion on this? I see nothing in chat. Wait. There's a one. There's a one. I see Tetra has a one. Voted. So we're gonna go. We're yeah, Tetra said he was. Tetra said he was in this game. So and like, uh, Tetra, who were you playing? Wait, Tetra was in this game. That's <laughs> he said he was, looks like a Storm League. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> he said he was like three weeks back. He was in the Storm League game. All right. We are going to go chat, though, as we promised. So we have two votes for okay, one. Yep. So we're going to go with one on this one. And they were Chats wrong. They were wrong. I was right for once. I was right. I'm the greatest. Same. I'm the best at this Woo. game. Get wrecked, chat. <laughs> uh, I knew the toxic comp won. One more. All right. Chat has one more chance to redeem themselves because they're right now just as bad as the hosts. Dragonshire. That means it's a 33% win rate on the Arthas so far. Unlucky. Uh, MMR 1760. Hero level 14.4. They have Leork, Vala, Nazebro, uh, the Medic, Lieutenant Morales, uh, Anubarak, and team number two has 1760 MMR. Hero level 15.8. Kelthuzad, Blaze, Greymundo, Imperious and the Angel of Life. Um, I actually don't know. Vala I'm OP. Go bottom team. Oh, I always bet against the Vala unless I don't know. Unless it's on like the enemy team, then it'll carry. If it's on my team, it just fades. It's a Chad build feeder Vala. 
This is Dragonshire. Uh-huh. Leoric should beat Blaze in the top lane. He should, but he also went March, so that's not putting any good favors that's uh, actually for me correct. with that Leoric. And his build is Omega Lol. What the hell? Yeah, he didn't even go Ossian Renewal at one in the solo lane where you're not going to see well, any healers. It's either that or the minion, uh, whatever that one's called. Right. I forget that name. Neil Peasants is fine. William Vessel, uh, uh, I guess. It's the healing. You usually want to distance, uh, especially the blaze, but. I'm mm. torn, but this is chat. We have one for we have one for top and one for bottom. McGibbous of the two McGibbous and Tetra, the two people playing. We need a tiebreaker. Who wants to tiebreak this in chat? Anybody? Uh, I, I don't know. So like the Kelfazad, the Kelfazad is here. Morales doesn't have necessarily a cleanse. I mean, everybody does have their gladiators medallion, but that's a five-minute the, cooldown in the Kelfazad. It's a cooldown for double soaking. I mean, but I'm pretty sure the Q's back up when you still rotate Tetcher, though. I'm pretty sure. Even without the cooldown reduction. But maybe I'm wrong. It's been a while since I've had to play well, I would... Captain Feeder or uh, Leoric. I know Tetcher does play offlane, so he's probably right. But isn't isn't that one the one where like you hit heroes and you get the healing based off of the damage that you do? So that would be mean like he was maybe yeah, but, in the format also, and the three in the off lane. It, it has a two seconds. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I think it's two seconds. Hmm. Okay. There are nineteen. There are eighteen of you in chat. One person is tired of this one left. Um, oh no. That means one of you has an opinion, and like, mm, do they? if you're wrong, that's fine. Like, we're gonna right. blame you, but like, I'm right, going. Then... I'm going to flip a coin. You pick. I so said you can pick. I do like the hard CC down. Oh, in, yeah. Uh, the I guess I could just pick. pick. Um, and we can laugh at you instead of you laughing at us. So. Ah, now I'm going to yeah, mute you. I, I, I do think I'm going to go with uh, Tetra on this, though, and pick, the, and pick team two. So let's see. Ooh. We're back. We're still in this. Still in this. We should probably stick around a little bit. Okay, it's like so far. Like I've been, I'm, you know, <laughs> we're, we're, we're evening it out. 50% here. All right. Well, piss piece up a little bit. I think we're maybe dragging this now a little bit, but we got Towers of Doom. Uh, let's look at the MMRs are 2340 and 2400. Sonia, Lucio, Greymane, and Tastar and ETC on team one. Taronda, Mirrodin, Falstad, Zul, and Kael'thas on team two. Now these are these are higher MMR games, so Kalefoss is not necessarily as OP OP as he normally is. So uh-huh. what does chat think will be the winning team in this one? Team one or team two? What do you what do you two think about we, as we think about this? This is the hardest. Yeah, I agree. This is actually a really hard one. I think I like the Lucio healing better. And the more that I look at this, aside Zool, I feel everybody on Team 1 just kind of is better in terms of the meta. Like, ETC is better than Muradin. Tassadar is better than Kilthos. Greymane, better than Falstad. Lucio is better than Tyrande. And Sonya. Zool is the only one who I'm like, I think is better on the map. Like, Sonya can also kind of double soak, so... So here's what I like about Team 2 over Team 1. They have and this is a technical term, a metric ass ton of CC. <laughs> like they Sounds can, fair. they, they, if they, if they Zool root anybody, if that person does not die, that team messed up. Right. So I see that... there is a, yeah, that's fair. I also see that there's a, like, like the Lucio ulti is kind of borked, but it oh, looks yeah. like it what high does it five say? there. It is high five. He did take high five. That's probably oh, why it's like two, sure. Probably two yeah. then. I think it's team two. I mean, yeah, okay. Yeah, with all the CC, even with the high five, I don't understand why they picked it, but it's just not good. Yep, it is team two. They did win. All right. Dragonshire. We got Raynor, Nova, Mirrodin, Brightwing, Orphea versus Diablo, Anduin, Zul'jin, Imperius, and Kael'thas. We have Nova again. Ugh. <laughs> it's line house cleanse cow is good but pyro he did go pyro so tetra saying two we're gonna go with that since um we're trying to speed up a little bit guess I'm correctly oh no two. yep i'm just gonna at this point i'm going by what tetra says in chat because he's now chat in this in this game <laughs> <laughs> 
Infernal Shrines. We got May, Kerrigan, Sonia, Li Ming, White Mane versus Lunara, Johanna, Thrall, Nazebro, and Uther. Now, Tetra did used to get paid to be right about this game, so <laughs> I, I, he, he might be good. What do you two I think? think we'll wait for Catcher's like... answer. I think Imperius gets bullied. I do. I think Imperius gets bu bu bullied in the top lane. McGibbet's trying to play again, but that's too slow, my friend. We're going with Tetra now. <laughs> <laughs> um, Tetra says one. Damn, he agrees with McGibbet. All right. Team one? He I'm is correct. Too. All right. Oh, Te fuck. Te Te Tetra <laughs> is right now killing it. Uh, how far does this go if he keeps getting them right? We're gonna go. We're gonna go one more for the sake of uh, <laughs> the sake, sake of time. <laughs> Battlefield of Eternity. We got Kalthas, Phoenix, Garrosh, Leorg, and Brightwing. So clearly, real Kai was in this game. Uh, next game, team two was Li Ming, Anduin, Artanis, Dibbles, and Ray Ray. Captain Pew Pew. I'm gonna say team two. Uh, I don't know. It's Garrosh and. Uh... He said team one already, right? That is right. the new one, right? Yeah, I think so. I'm gonna go team one. Garrosh and a Diablo feels bad. No, that is yeah, I think they're trying to clear this a little bit better. Or I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh yeah, we're behind I'm behind one. Uh all right, so I don't think I don't think I see Tetra's vote yet. Giblet's just trying again to play this game, but you know, he's already been kicked off the island. And also Tetra disagrees. <sighs> so we're gonna go with one. I think two's oh, race is better. Giblis I will say was that. Right. He has lucky. Yeah, so team lucky. two let's see, yeah, team two had some decent race. Diablo into Garrosh. Just throw the Diablo into the stun. Like I have a clip of me doing it. It's super easy. <laughs> Take a nap at your keyboard and then just like wake up to throw your cue. All right. Well, um, I mean there could be the light bomb, you know, light bomb and dibbles when he gets yeeted, and then the whole team gets stunned and then just Rainer and Li Ming do their thing. I mean they yeah. Like, like, well, the DPS is better. I may have let that segment go on a little bit too long, but that's it for Guess the Victor. Let you two uh, close this out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, yeah, that's going to be it for us this week. We will be back next uh, Tuesday. I almost said Wednesday, but that's not right. We'll be back next Tuesday doing all this stuff and more. Again, we'll talk a little bit about the uh, teams. Maybe I know a bunch of you even showing up going, what about the teams? And the short answer for right now is no. But we're going to keep doing some fun stuff, talk about NGS, and have a good time. That's all I have. Thanks so much for joining me. Yeah, absolutely. Just thanks to everybody in the chat, NGS as a whole, and then just special shout-outs to Linehouse and Key, as always, yeah. uh, for making our jobs 100% easy. We just get to show up and say stupid stuff. Ah, thanks, guys. You're the best. That's it for now. Later, nerds. See, ya. See you later.